anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands, it's a pipe too much to be done on this pipe mic that I need to open. Pipe bombs. Pipe bombs. Pipe bombs. In anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands, it's a pipe bomb. I represent the pipe bombs. Gold. Okay, so uh, this is round two of my saga of Urza's saga. <laughs> Hear that? A play on words. Okay, I kind of like this hand. I mean, I need a island, but I did put some in the deck. So, and, and I know that you know putting islands in the deck is pretty valuable when you're playing a uh, blue deck. Hopefully I'll draw one next turn. If I do, I got I have this pretty well locked up. It's playing black. That's bad for me. Pretty bad. Not terribly bad, but still pretty bad. Just not fantastic, you know? Okay, now that is not an island, as you can clearly see. And, um, just to finish up my little anti- uh, classic here. Oh my god, would I love to use burn on that now so it doesn't become a problem in the future? So that's what I will do. Oh, wait, I don't have any islands yet. I will soon, I promise. But, um, classic players, man, that Worst kind of people. Come on. Oh, wow. That is the exact opposite of an island. That costs seven mana. Um, so, yeah, classic players are just stupid. I, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, you could say that, that you play classic because I don't know why you would ever say you like classic. But some people, wow, I am, wow, thanks. I have two mountains in this deck. I've just drawn two of them. God damn, that's annoying. Well, maybe if I draw another mountain or a forest, I can get out my, uh... I mean, I have the creatures in hand, and, oh, God, that island. I would not be in this position right now, which is reverse cowgirl. Very... Very uncomfortable for both of us. Um, maybe I shouldn't have kept the two lander, but this deck has a lot of... Yay! Let's get you out. A little late to the party, but next turn, put a Rancor on him. And I'm running around with a 4-4 uh, four, four dude that does work. So I can't really argue with uh, with that philosophy, um, if that's a word. Philosophy, I, E I, E I O. I don't know. But really, all classic and legacy players. Oh, pestilence! That is certainly not my idea of a good time. Yeah, let's just, well, oh, we're going for an attack. Get out my 2-2 two -two that is kind of like uh, that card from SOM where you exile, a, you know, put a card under it, and then when it dies, you get to put that card into play and whatnot. Uh, so classic people are just people who are scared. They don't like new things. They've been playing the same decks for years. They were They're playing, well... Okay, actually, that's fantastic. So, let me just get this Rancor on. Where do I put the Rancor? Yeah, I'll put him on you. You like Rancor, don't you, buddy? Yeah, you like that Rancor. Let's get in for six. Now I can actually do damage, as opposed to taking damage. Um, I'll wait till he attacks before I... Use it, although in in theory, doing three, taking three, because whenever he casts a creature, he has to sack that. 
he wouldn't be able to play, play a creature. I'd take three damage, but it would... No, it really wouldn't do much. Um, he could Pestilence for three. That would only help me, really, in this instance. Unless, you know, the card I get from my uh, little whatever that thing is, uh, is like a zero one elf. Ticking gnomes. Gnomes at tick. All right, an island. Well, let's attack. He can kill off my 4-4, four four, which I just remembered, using the ticking gnomes and then using pestilence. Yeah. That sucks a little bit, but it's not the end of the world as we know it. Um, so, okay. I don't know why he didn't kill the... Why he didn't kill my guy. He just used it to block and then he didn't even sack it to deal a point of damage. I guess that was a misplay on his part. Well, get out the Cloud of Fairies, because that is resistant to Pestilence. Oh, wait. Whoops. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I thought it was to all creatures without flying. Wow. If you saw the look on my face. I want, and, oh, if anyone has played with Thrashing Wumpus in a mask draft, that must be so cool. Get to Fire Slinger. That's certainly not good. But not terrible either, because... Uh-huh. I could Rancor. He has to block. Just kind of left without a ch choice. Just gonna use Pestilence again. Oof. That sucks, because I lose my Rancor, but... <laughs> In return, I get a 6-5 regenerating creature. I'll take it. Um, 5, he's at 6. So even if he plays a creature, I need to deal at least 1 point of damage to him. He's got 4 now. He can get me down to 1 with Pestilence. Or he could just use that. That works too. I don't know what I could possibly draw, but uh, <laughs> what's Frantic Search ending? Oh, all those cards would have just been great. Well, on to the sideboarding portion of this program. After a brief thing from Spawn Source. I should just take out that fucking Taunting Elf and put in two counter spells instead of one because I don't want to lose to a goddamn Lava Axe again. Also, that white card's that white card right there, the mask, that would be insane against him. Including that pro-red dude, not the protection of artifacts, that's pro-white, that destroys enchantments. I think I may make the switch. Should I make the switch to white? But with that, that, and... What else? Maybe that? No? Yeah, I guess. It's not fantastic, but it's a creature. No, I'm not looking in black. Get away from that. I should... That doesn't help. That doesn't help. That definitely... That? Yeah, that needs to be in the deck. Uh, switch out the three mountains for... Remember, when you're playing a... When you're playing in a draft like this, and a guy is taking a ton of time in a sideboard... Oh, great. I just remembered every single time you mess with your sideboard, something bad happens. Uh, so... Whenever you play a guy and he's taking a ton of time like this, it means only one thing, and that one thing is that he is, um... 
uh, switching either switching decks or switching some colors here and there. I should keep that crop rotation in my hand. I mean, if he has any double face cards, I don't want them to flip. Oh, will someone please explain to me why they added Bloodthirst to M12, but no Bloodthirst in SOM or in Estrad? I think that's kind of dumb, to be honest. I mean, like... Okay, the gnomes are ticking. Tick, 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 gnomes. Okay, still waiting. I'm gonna rotate some crops. Because, to be honest, I just want to get some cards out of it. Look at all that mana. And I'm not, you know, I just don't want to draw anymore, to be honest. Two, three, four. You could say that's a waste of mana, but, or a waste of a crop rotation in case I need that planes. But, you know, I kind of, I see crop rotation more as a, a way of just getting cards, you know, making top decking easier for the whole family. Come on, attack. You're not worried? Come on, good creature, good creature, good creature. And I don't block. Because I already have, like, the creature in my deck. Um, but then again, I do have a Rancor in my hand. And a Rancor in hand is worth two in the bush. And now I just made him a 6-4 Shroud Flyer. That's why Zephyr's Embrace was such a badass card when SOM was out. Like, insanely badass. Um, oh, he just took a nice 6. He's going to get himself out of this hole. It's going to be hard because, you know, the... He is playing red black. So unless he's got some form of enchantment destruction. He could race me, but my creatures are larger than his are. Well, let's uh play out this guy. Because he's large and in charge. And nothing is better than large and in charge. Watch, he'll kill it as soon as I tap. I forget what that does. Hmm. Uh, that does something, I'm sure. Um, whatever that something. Oh, ticking gnomes. Do you still pay the echo cost on a card like that? Or is it as an additional cost? By Calvin Klein. Sucks that I have to pay the... Echo is one of the things I could have done without in Urza's Saga. Also, may I say that... Um, right now, as I get dressed... Um, wait, what does that card do? Oh, so... When a creature goes in the graveyard, it brings that... I have no clue as to what just happened. I'm sure it was something important, but I wasn't really feeling it. I think he's dead, though. Yay. Oh, but as I get ready for going out and picking out what clothes I'm going to wear and whatnot, um, I, uh, I'm watching America's Cutest Pets, and well, it's just fantastic. I like my deck just the way it is. Oh man. See, when I got my second dog, I wanted like a prototypical... Wow, what a terrible opening hand. 
I have three planes in a 40 card deck. What's the odds of getting two of them? It's got to be less than... The odds, that's like pocket twos going up against pocket aces and you flop two twos. I mean, those are just bad odds in general. That's a bad card for me to go up against at the moment. That's a pretty badass card if you think about it. I mean, it's 2-2 two, two for only 2 mana. Right? I can't really see from here. I don't know. Either way, put creature gets minus 1, minus 1. And just with the lack of black removal that gets, you know, raped by... Yay! That gets raped by um, non-black removal. I, I, I confuse myself, but the black removal that doesn't work on black creatures. It's really nice to have a black creature that can actually remove creatures that are black. If that made any sense. That's a big ass motherfucker. That's going to be hard for me to deal with with the lack of current lands that I have at ATM. Which is Spanish for at the moment. Oh, this moment. Uh, I love this. That turtle's trying to eat a cherry. That's fantastic. Oh. I love world's cutest pets. But when I got a dog, I was so totally hoping I would get, like, a prototypical dog. And he does everything a prototypical dog does. I mean... He rubs his butt on the floor, which I find hilarious. He um, does other things. He, you know, bites me a lot. Stuff like that. And, um, and, uh, but one thing I wanted was a dog that chases his own tail. Shaky doesn't chase his own tail. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Shaky, seriously, bro, you're killing me here. All right, so I can play Bubbles, the magical Bubbles, or I can hinder myself for two turns, in which he could use a removal spell, and I'll be so effed hard in the A that my A will feel like it was effed by an N. Yeah, that sounds about right. And if you didn't understand what that means, that's cool, because I don't know if I did either. Um, should I play should I pay the echo cost? Echo, 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 echo. Echo. Oh, I should have kept a white mana open be able to see into the future. Because if I would have put Mask of Lawn Water on it or Lone Grace, whatever it's called. That, it, you know, I'd be unstoppable. I'd be king of the world! Okay, so yeah, I'm doing that to that. So stuff's occurring. Stuff is always good. I enjoy stuff. Now, what are you gonna do, buddy? Oh, hey, can he sacrifice his... Fog of Gnats? Oh no. Oh no. It's terrible. Oh my god, if you kill that now, I swear I'm going to wait till you have your firstborn child and then give it a fucking abortion. I'm not even fucking joking you. Bubbles! Let's get in there. Come on. I could block with bubbles. Nah, I'll just hold it. Doesn't make sense to attack right now. Plus, I have bubbles. It excites me. It doesn't take much to excite me. I mean, the last in in the Tempest block, if I got a Jackalope, I'd be happy for a year. Oh crap! I'm getting dangerously close to um. The f oh crap! I'm getting dangerously close though to um. 
that territory of where I don't want to be. Stuff happens there. Oh yeah, uh, Lava Axe territory. Alright, for the first time I finally get to play this oversized beast of a creature. And I have Bubbles! I don't know the name of that card. It's in the middle over there. I just call it Bubbles. Bubbles! Crap, he could Cinder Seer me for potentially a lot. Or he could just like shock me or something. I, I figure that's his plan. Come on, something good. Something good. Something good. That's good. That's damn good, if you know what I'm saying. That way I can attack with only one thing, and then kind of just not attack with another thing. Stuff would happen. What's... Although I think there's a white kind of Zephyr's Embrace type deal. Um... It deals, uh, it gives the creature plus two, plus two, and it says Shroud, it's like Vigilance. Although, I, I remember back when the card was originally made, they didn't call it Shroud. It was called, like, Can't be a Target, Spells or Abilities, Your Opponent's Control. Ah, oh, crap, he's got a Lava Axe in his hand, and I'm down to exactly five. That could not be any worse. Well, it could be worse. I mean, I could have AIDS. But I would have won this turn. Now we have, like, a conversation about games being good. and I'm trying to be the better man here and say, Yeah, those were some great games, buddy. While, you know, I want to go through the computer and punch him upside the head because he got lucky. Bitch. I'm out. Peace.